ओके गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन दिस इज संतोष साहू एंड यू आर वाचिंग साहू ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस इट वीडियो हियर आई विल बी कवरिंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस फॉर द अपकमिंग कलकत्ता यूनिवर्सिटी पीजी और एमए एंट्रेंस टेस्ट एग्जाम I will be covering more than 50 important MCQ questions along with explanation. This is the first video where I am making for the upcoming <coughs> Calcutta University MA entrance to the exam. Do so well quickly and let me know is everything is okay. If the PPT is visible and I am also audible to everyone, and you know that they will conduct the entrance test, the entrance test for the non-CU candidates. And let me share the link in my Telegram channel. So. Please do let me know is everything is okay, and I am audible and visible to everyone. Is everything is okay? Just let me know. Yeah. <clears throat> so have you joined? Do join quickly. I'll be covering more than 50 important MCQ questions along with explanation in this video in this presentations. This will a kind of mock test for the upcoming Calcutta University MA entrance exam 2023. This is part one. I'll be covering more than 50 important MCQ questions along with explanation. Is everything okay, Sujit? Okay, excellent. So, Brahm, so have you joined? Good evening, everyone. Do join quickly, and I'm waiting for all of you. Do join quickly. I'm waiting for all of you. I'll be covering more than 50 important important MCQ questions. Okay, here. Do join quickly. Have you all joined? Yes, Sujit has joined. I'm waiting for. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. And before starting the session, this may humble request to all the aspirants, please make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification as well. Good evening, good evening, Subramshu. And do join the Telegram channel that is Santu Sahu UG Select. So here I will be covering, here I will be covering some important MCQ questions for the upcoming Calcutta University PG entrance exam. So here is your first question on your screen. Okay, hello, hi, good evening, morning, Nita. Yeah. Okay, let's get started with this question number one here. It's excellent. Excellence, how are you all? How are you all? Good evening, everyone. Sujit, Subramshu, Anindita, and Sucharita, everyone. So let's get started with this question number one. And here is your first question on your screen. So I'll be covering here more than 54 important MCQ questions. Okay, along with explanation, do as well. Good evening, Rina. How are you? Good evening. Okay, uh, Rina, that would be that that would be expanding circle. Okay, Rina. That would be expanding circle. Okay. So, which of the following was written by? Okay, the following work, following work, was written by uh, by German Breuer. The second sex, the ethics of ambiguity, had you a farewell to John Paul Sartre, the female owner, which was written by here. Hmm. Excellent, excellent. German German Breuer has written. Yeah, I'm fine as well. <laughs> fine as well in BG schedule. I'm trying to provide whatever I can to all the aspirants. Yeah. So it is here the female eunuch. Ex ex exactly. Exactly. It's female eunuch is the female eunuch is the right answer. The female eunuch is a work by German Greer. German Greer has written the female eunuch, and here the second sex. The ethics of ambiguity. Add you a fair to John Paul Sartre. These are all works by. These are all works by Simon de Beauvoir. Exactly. So these are the second sex. Ethics of ambiguity. Add you a fair to John Paul Sartre. These are all three works written by Simon de Beauvoir. Simon de Beauvoir has written. Okay, I'll be. I have not analyzed it actually. So Simon de Beauvoir has written the second sex that was published in 1941. This work, 1941, second sex was published in 1941. Simon de Beauvoir has written the second sex, Ethics of Ambiguity, and a farewell to John Paul Sartre. Okay, and actually, uh, Simon de Beauvoir actually uh, existed a French, a French, a French existentialist philosopher. Okay, and the female unit is actually by German Breuer. And here is the explanation. You see, the female unit is a 1970 book by the German Breuer that became an international bestseller and important text in the feminist movement. And its sequel of the female unit is actually uh, entitled as the Whole Woman, published in 1919. Okay, the Whole Woman, the uh, the Whole Woman is actually the the sequel of the female unit by German Breuer. Moving on to uh, here is the second sex by uh, by Simon de Beauvoir. It's a work published in 1949. Okay, in which the author discusses the treatment of women in the present society as well as throughout the 
थ्रू ऑल ऑफ इट्स हिस्ट्री वीमेन एज आदर वीमेन एज आदर वीमेन एज आदर ठीक है नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन वाला नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुई राइटर क्वाइन दाम डबल कंसेसनेस टू डिस्क्राइब द अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन एक्सपीरियंस हेयर डब्ल्यू ई बी डू वाइज लैंगस्टन ह्यूज रिचर्ड राइट टॉनी मरिशन हुज रिटर्न दूज क्वाइन दाम डबल कंसेसनेस डबल कंसेसनेस वॉज क्वाइंड बाई हूम डबल कंसेसनेस वॉज क्वाइंड बाई हूम एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली हाँ Excellent. It is W E B Du Bois has coined the term double consciousness. Hmm. Double consciousness was coined by W E B Du Bois, and in his essay called "The Souls of Black Folk," the souls of the souls of black folk. ठीक है? This is the work where he has coined he has coined the term the double consciousness, the souls of black folk. And here is the explanation you see. The term and the idea were first published in W E B Du Bois auto auto ethnographic work. That is the souls of black folk in 1903, in which he described the African American experience of double consciousness, including his own. And here, double consciousness. What is double consciousness? Okay, let me. Just a minute. Just a minute. So here, double consciousness actually. Double consciousness is the main internal conflict experienced by a subordinate or colonized groups in an oppressive society. The term was introduced by Ralph Waldo Emerson in 1848 as a 186 marks. Okay, paper analysis is according. Okay, so 186 is a good score actually. The term was introduced by Ralph Waldo Emerson in in his 1842 as a the transcendentalist. Okay, that would be expanding circle as well. so it was first introduced in his essay by ralph waldo emerson that is called transcendentalist theek hai rubaya the bomber came was translated into english by matthew arnold edwin arnold scott fitzgerald edward fitzgerald who had coined rubaya the bomber came was translated into english 186 actually a good mark for obc candidate as well Rubaya the Bomber came was translated into English. Let's wait for the answer key. Let's wait for the final MP answer key. It was translated into English by hmm, excellent. Rubaya the Bomber came was translated into English by excellent. It was not Matthew Arnold. Edwin Arnold. Hmm, C D exactly. Edward Fitzgerald has translated Rubaya the Bomber came into trans into English. It's D is the right answer. Excellent. 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 Okay. Now, now, Rina, just be prepared for the upcoming UG Senate exam. Okay. Uh, who coined the term gynocentrism here? Mary Shelley, Virginia Woolf, Ellen Sowalter, Kate Millett. Yeah, got it in both paper. So out of out of out of three hundred, you are getting one eighty six. One eighty six out of three hundred. Okay, I got it. But now tell me in which book? This is this is an easy one. This is an easy one. Uh, but tell me in which book? The question is that in which book C H coined the term gynocentrism? Now tell me the book in which book C H coined the term gynocentrism? Now you tell me here. Yeah.
in which book yeah excellent towards the feminist poetics towards the excellent program so that is towards a feminist excellent 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 my pleasure thank you thank you so feminist here towards the feminist poetics poetics that was published in write it out it was published in 1979 1979 essay okay 1979 essay to quantum gynocriticism it is helen sowalter towards the feminist poetics that was published in 1979 1979 next question what is the pen name of charles lamb here amelia eric arthur blair elia alpha of the plow okay what is the pen name of charles lamb Amelia, Eric Arthur, Blair, Eric Arthur Blair, Elia, and Alpha of the Plow. The pen name of Charles Lamb here. Uh, Sujit, Sujit, do share with you the aspirants. Sujit, do share with your friends those who are appearing for the Calcutta University entrance test. ठीक है? This is my humble request to all of you so that that this video can reach uh, the aspirants of CU. ठीक है? What is the pen name of Charles Lamb here? Amelia, Eric, Arthur Blair. Okay, excellent, excellent. Sujit, yeah, Sujit is the one who gave the answer for the first time here. It's Elia, exactly. Hmm, it's Elia. Elia is the pen name of Charles Lamb. Yeah, Subramshu, Sujit, Subramshu, and everyone. Elia is the pen name. What is the pen name? It is Elia. Now you tell me. Now you tell me. Excellent. 15 to 25 questions आपको क्लासेस से आए excellent okay excellent Mike I'm very happy I'm very happy actually I'm very happy that uh, that yeah my classes were helpful for you excellent so here now you tell me alpha of the plow the pen name of now tell me will you tell me that alpha of the plow the pen name किसका है alpha of the plow here and Eric Arthur Blair is the pen name of which writer Alpha of the plow and Eric. Uh, first, you tell me alpha of the plow. So, Elia E. Charles Lamb got it. Now, now you talk about alpha of the plow here. Now you talk about alpha of the plow. Do you know? Yes or no? Do you know? Yes or no? Excellent, excellent, Anandita. A. G. Gardener, excellent, excellent. A. G. Gardener's alpha of the plow, excellent, Anandita. Now, now it is Eric Arthur Blair. Now talk about Eric Arthur Blair. Okay, let me and let me know how many are, how many of you are able to answer this question here. Eric Arthur Blair is the George Eliot. Excellent, excellent, Sujit. George Eliot, excellent. George Eliot. So here, Elia is the pen of Charles Lamb, whereas Alpha of the Plow by E. G. Gardner and George Eliot is Eric Arthur Blair. Moving on to question number six here. Excellent, all of you are. The line she dwells with beauty, beauty that must be occurs in kids which work. Lamia, or to excellent, or to a Grecian aunt, or on a melancholy endemir. Here I will be covering more than 50 plus MCQ questions along with explanations. Stay tuned and watch this session till the end. It's going to be a very fruitful session. And do like the session, share with your friends as well. Q name, these are all questions. Why not? Why not? These are revisions. If you are preparing for every senate, these are revision questions. Why not? Why not? Why not? The revision is the key. Which one? Which one? George? Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. It was George. It was George. Uh, yeah. Baato baato me me chala gaya. It was George Orwell. ठीक है, ठीक है. Eric Arthur. हाँ हाँ. Excellent. Eric Arthur Blair. That is. Hmm. I am extremely sorry. That is George Orwell, Eric Arthur Blair. ठीक है? चलो. So, uh, Ode on Melancholy. Exactly, it's Ode on Melancholy. Ode on Melancholy is the right answer. These lines happen. Ode on Melancholy. Next question, okay? Who wrote the novel The Portrait of a Lady? Henry James, Mark Twain. William Tennessee, William James. Yes, yes, I. No, no, I knew that, but.
हो जाता है कुछ कुछ टाइम या या आई आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो हियर द हेनरी जेम्स हैज रिटर्न द नॉवेल द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी हु रोड द नॉवेल द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी हियर हेनरी जेम्स हेनरी जेम्स एक्चुअली एंड हु इज द प्रोटैगोनिस्ट ऑफ दिस नॉवेल हियर द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी हु रोड द नॉवेल द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी हियर दैट इज हेनरी जेम्स ओके नाउ हु इज द प्रोटैगोनिस्ट ऑफ दिस नॉवेल इट इज इसाबेल आर्चर it's isabel archer isabel archer is the protagonist of this novel and there is also character osmond osmond is also character appear osmond isabel archer is the protagonist the portrait of a lady and the short story was written by kusban singh here the novel by portrait of a lady where the short story is written by kusban singh and here isabel archer is the protagonist of this novel portrait of a lady gilbert osmond gilbert osmond also uh, was also a character of that novel the first translation of dalit writings into english is the poison bread who wrote this bama om prakash balmiki baburao bagul arjun dangal now tell me the first translation of the dalit writings into english is the poison bread who wrote this here and thank you anandita uh, for telling me i was so much i was so much engrossed with talking that i even did not uh, <clears throat> it was overlooked actually no 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 the poison bread the poison bread the poison bread is actually first translation of dalit writings into english is the poison bread who wrote this it is not om prakash balmiki it is not bama it is not babula bagul here arjun dangal here arjun dangal is the the first translations of dalit writings into english is the poison bread okay saurabh and uh, cutpd students they will join because i will be covering calcutta university एम एंट्रेंस एग्जाम ठीक है सो दीज आर क्वेश्चन बेनिफिशियल फॉर सीयूटी पीजी एज वेल दिस क्वेश्चन आर आल्सो बेनिफिशियल फॉर सीयूटी पीजी एज वेल ओके आई विल बी कवरिंग नाउ सीयू कलकत्ता यूनिवर्सिटी पीजी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सो इट इज अर्जुन गंगल इट इज अर्जुन गंगल द पॉइजन ब्रेड हियर सीयू मींस कलकत्ता यूनिवर्सिटी ठीक है सो ऑल हैप्पी फैमिलीज आर अलाइक इज अनहैप्पी फैमिली इज अनहैप्पी इन इट्स ओन वे दिस this is the this is the this is the opening line of the sound and the theory by william faulkner anna karenina by leo tolstoy the great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald the catcher in the rye by j d seringer all happy families are alike is unhappy families is unhappy families is unhappy in its own way this is the famous opening line of which work the sound and the theory anna karenina the great gatsby the catcher in the rye this is the famous opening line this is the famous opening line this is the famous opening line excellent okay now we have changed excellent the second one is right actually excellent so anandita is the one who get the answer here yeah. excellent it each it each excellent sudarita it each anna karenina this is the famous opening line by leo tolstoy that all happy families are alike here yeah. subrams you too also all happy families are alike is unhappy family is unhappy in its own way this is the famous opening line of anna karenina by leo tolstoy Moving on to question number ten here. Sorry, sorry. Here is the explanation you see. The first sentence of Leo Tolstoy's novel, Anna Karenina, is happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Here, Tolstoy means that for a family to be happy, several key aspects must be given. There is good health of all family members, acceptable financial security, and mutual affection. Who was the first English playwright in India to win the Sahitya Academy Award? Mahesh Dattani, Girish Kanad, Vijay Tendulkar, Badal Sarkar. Who was the first English playwright in India to win the Sahitya Academy Award, and for which work? Repeated questions under right also done.
Okay, so for which work? For the for the name name the work. Final solution. Excellent. This is the final solution. This is the final solution. Mahesh Dattani. Yeah, Mahesh Dattani. The first Indian poet to receive the Sahitya Academy Award. Tell me, for the first Indian poet to receive the Sahitya Academy Award. The first Indian poet to receive the Sahitya Academy Award. Final solution. It is for final solution. Mahesh Dattani got the Sahitya Academy Award for final solution. The important works of Mahesh Dattani are Bravery for the Queen Tara, Final Solutions, Seven Steps Out of the Fire, Jayanthu Mahapatra, exactly. Jayanthu Mahapatra was the one, the first poet, the first Indian poet to receive the from Odisha recently passed away. So Jayanthu Mahapatra was the first Indian poet to receive the Sahitya Academy ever. Excellent. Moving on to question number 11 here. Who coined the term third theater? Now tell me. Yeah, exactly. Eugenio Barba Moyes, Rakesh Grish Kannad. The easy question is that you have done a lot of work. the term. I hope you are not making a mistake. Yeah. And he watch he watch he has done his PhD in physics. Physics. From Bihar. Probably from Bihar University he has done his uh, There you go. Um, how many times I have told that third theater was not coined by Badal Sarkar? Every time and these questions, okay, probably I have repeated 10 times, 11 times, 15 times, 20 times. But still they are making mistake. Excellent. Excellent, Sudarita. It is Eugenia Barba. How many times I have told that that is Eugenia Barba is the one who coined the term third theater. Okay? It is popularized in India. Yeah, physics, exactly. Who coined the term third theater? It is Eugenia Barba, that's coined. But it was popularized by Badal Sarkar. He has translated his Satabdi, own theater company into third theater. Satabdi, Badal Sarkar, Badal Sarkar, Satabdi. Okay? So Eugenia Barba has coined the term third theater. Next question, who has quite, who has given, uh, who has quite poor theater, poor theater, poor theater of the, theater of the oppressed, poor theater of the theater of the oppressed, tell me, poor theater or the theater of the, theater of the oppressed. His name, Yeta. And here is question number 12 here, who wrote? The essay called We Should All Be Feminists Here. Chinua HB, also Inka, Chimamanda Goji Adiji, Alice Walker. Poor Theatre of the Theatre of the Oppressed by Grotesky. Poor Theatre of the Theatre of the Oppressed by Grotesky. Tige. Now here is question number 12 on your screen. Poor Theatre and Theatre of the Oppressed. Grotesky. Who wrote We Should All Be Feminists Here? Chinua Achebi, Old Swainka, Chimamanda Goji Adiji, Alish Wakar. Hmm. Excellent Anandita. It is Chimamanda Goji Adiji. Hmm. Chimamanda Goji Adiji has written, We should all be feminist. Excellent. Sarov as well. So, both theater and theater of the oppressed kis ne kiya tha? Likho, what is key? Comment me likho. Okay. Marco is a character in Arkin Arendt's The Guide, Radha Rao, The Serpent and the Rope, Anand's Actress, The Black Waters, none of these. Like this.
एक बार गूगल में सर्च कर लेना वो थिएटर प्रोटेस्ट की ऐसे बोल के हाँ ऐसे ऐसे ही ऐसे ही होगा मार्को इज ए कैरेक्टर इन पेरिस क्वेश्चन थर्टीन ऑन स्क्रीन गाइड राजा रॉस वोटेस की टी ओ डब्ल्यू ओके चलो जो मार्को इज ए कैरेक्टर इन मार्को या मार्को वॉज हजबेंड ऑफ मार्को वॉज हजबेंड ऑफ होम हजबेंड ऑफ रोजी हजबेंड ऑफ रोजी ठीक है सो हेयर इज मार्को मार्को एफियर्स इन आर्किनारायण गाइड That was published in 1958, and Arkin Aaron was the first pair. 1960 में उसको क्या मिला था? Guide में guide में क्या मिला था? Science Academy Award मिला था 1960 में. Science Academy Award मिला था 1960 में. The guide was published in 1958. Then 1960 में Science Academy Award मिला था. ठीक है? That is Arkin Aaron's the guide here. Marco Marco appears in the guide. The husband of Roji. Salman Rushdie's own. Booker of the Bookers Award for Dreamers. The certain words is same midnight children. Roji, exactly. And Mangal is the village. Mangal. Name of the village is Mangal. And transformation of Raju from a railway uh, railway guide to a lover, then to a Mahatma. At the end of the novel, and he even sacrifices his life for the sake of the for the sake of the the village mongols. It's Midnight Children. Chalo, who is the protagonist of Midnight Children? The protagonist. Tell me the important characters of the important protagonist, protagonist of this Midnight Children. Everyone right? Write down it. Moon is a character in Anand's Midnight Children. का जो important characters क्या हैं? Salim, Salim, Tanay. Hmm, exactly. Salim Shinai, Parvati. Salim Shinai is having the telepathic power. Moon is a character in here. Padma, Shiva, exactly. Paris hmm. here. Mono is a character in Anand's Mono. Exactly, it is Kuli. Kuli. Hmm. In which year was published? In which year was published here? Antajibul was published in 1935, whereas Kuli was published in 1936. And then another work that was published in 1937 is Two Leaves and a Bird. 1937 में that was published Two Leaves. Two Leaves exactly. Two Leaves and a Bird. Beauty Bird. So 1935 में Untouchable published हुआ था. That was about the life of Bakha. B A K E C. Then you have Kuli here Muno who died due to tuberculosis. Who died due to tuberculosis TB. Muno. 1936 में and 1937 में Two Leaves and a Bird. So these are the chronological works of here Mulgas Anand. ठीक है. And he is also known as what? He is also known as Dickens of East, okay, and Indian Dickens, Indian Dickens. He is also known as. Write it down that he is also known as Indian Dickens. Okay, Indian Dickens, Indian Dickens, or Dickens of East, who lives and a bard. 1937 में published हुआ था. ठीक है. 1937 exactly. Hmm. Bazaar of India, Jola of India, Indian Dickens. He is also known as. Belzeg of India, the realist writer. Belzeg of India, ठीक है? Chola of India, Chola of India. They are all naturalist writer. Belzeg, 
or at the bazaar chola they are all naturally striker so here multas anand is known as indian deacons deacons of east bazaar of india chola of india theek hai and he was one of the tribes along with arkinaran and whom along with arkinaran and which one the indian tribes arkinaran raja rao and multas anand indian deacons deacons of east bazaar of india chola of india and the tribes ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द व्हाइट टाइगर बाय अरविंद अडीगा व्हाच पब्लिश्ड इन व्हिच ईयर सो सो सम ऑफ द ईयर फ्रॉम 2008 टेन 9 11 बेल्जियम ऑफ इंडिया जोला ऑफ इंडिया डिकेंस ऑफ ईस्ट इंडियन डिकेंस ट्राइब्स इंडियन ट्राइब ठीक है Excellent, excellent, excellent. The white tiger, the Arvind Adiya, exactly. Hmm. So this was published in 2008, and in the same year, and in the same year, he got the in the same year he got the prize that is Booker Prize. Okay, in 2000, 2008. Okay, who is the who is the protagonist of white tiger here? Who is the protagonist of white tiger here? Who is the protagonist of white tiger? Okay. and welcome to south tutorial okay stay tuned share with friends i provide quality content here for the aspirants white tiger who is the main protagonist of this white tiger who is the white tiger here the titular character hmm exactly Balram Halwai, exactly. Balram Halwai, Balram Halwai is the protagonist. Of, Balram Halwai is the Halwai, any meat maker, okay? Jo Jo sweet maker. That is Balram Halwai is the protagonist. Balram, B A L A R A M Halwai, H A L W A I. Balram Halwai is the protagonist of White Tiger. Excellent, Balram Halwai, Pinky Madam, exactly, exactly. Who wrote the last winning cover? Anil Tapariu. Kaja Aman Abbas, Asif Karim Boy, Chow Ranul Rakhar Le, Arvind Adiga. So here, who wrote the last man in tower? Exactly. Who wrote last man in tower here? Who wrote last man in tower? Same thing that was published in here. Published in. Okay. Exactly. 2011 was published. Okay. 2008. In 2008 came. Hmm. In 2000, in 2008 came that is the white tiger, ठीक है? And 2011 में क्या मिला? The the last man in tower by Arvind Adiga. So it was published in the year 2011. Who has written the academic the acclaimed autobiography that is Fault Lines and Mimir? The autobiography in work Fault Lines and Mimir. Asif Karim Bai, Joe Randall Becker, Le Arvind Adiga, Mina Alexander. Who has written here? The acclaim of the biography Fault Lines and Mimir. Fault Lines and Mimir. Do like the video as well. Every day I come with mock test series. I I will be uh, covering exams like any PG exam, EGC net, GATE, SET, and CET PG. All these things. And currently, I am covering Gujarat State, WBC, UGC NET, RPSC, the Rajasthan PSC, CUT PG, and Calcutta University. And this is the first video I am making for Calcutta University entrance exam. Okay, it's Meena Alexander, excellent. All of you write, all of you write actually Subramshu, and then there is another one. All of you, Meena Alexander, again one. Fault lines, Sami Mayer. Fault lines, Sami Mayer. The Meena Alexander. Excellent. Women in Romanticism is a work by so what they Namita Gopale, Kamala Das, Mina Alexander. Women in Romanticism is a work by women in Romanticism is a work by whom? 
who has written this women in romanticism women in romanticism is a work by here do like the session as well and share with your friends and those who are new you can join the telegram channel that is santu sahu ugc net that's that is here women in romanticism is a work by again it's minala is under excellent anandita women in romanticism fall plants and mirror these are important work by mina alexander excellent excellent women in romanticism fall plants and mirror these are all work by mina alexander mina alexander has written women in romanticism excellent moving on to question number 20 who is considered the first english poet here chaucer kedman william langland robert burns okay who is considered as the first english poet here first english poet चलो दट इज केडमेन केडमेन इज द Hmm. and he is also known as he is also known as he is also known as anglo saxon anglo saxon anglo saxon milton okay he is also known as anglo saxon milton cadman the first christian poet the first christian poet here that is cadman he is also known as anglo saxon milton write it down yeah so atmaza have you shifted so it is who is here the plowman poet who is here the plowman poet will you tell me please who is the plowman poet the plowman poet here who is here the plowman poet from this chaucer kedman william langley robert burns who is here the plowman poet first english poet is kedman he is also known as anglo saxon milton christian poet kedman is the right answer and he is the who is the plowman poet here who is the plowman poet here of scottish ne scotland poet here plowman poet here hmm plowman What is plowman? P L O U G H M A N. Plowman for it here. Robert Burns. Plowman for it. Hmm. No, no. Plowman. It is not W. Plow P L O U G H. Plowman for it here. Robert Burns. What is for it here? Robert Burns. The answer. Plowman for it. Hello. Who is the author of the Ecclesiastical History of the English People? Dith Chaucer. He is the plowman by William Langlet. That is different. I am talking about plowman poet. I was talking about plowman poet. That is, that is Robert Burns, the Scottish poet. Who is the author of Ecclesiastical History of the English People? Dith Chaucer Johnson. Bacon, chalo. It's beach English history history of the English people. So here A is the right answer. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly, it's A is the right answer. Hmm. Next question. Moving to moving on to question number twenty-two. The hundred years of war between the hundred wars, the hundred years of war between England and France, England and Germany, France and Germany, Ireland and England. The hundred years of war between England and France, England and Germany, France and Germany, Ireland and England.
Yeah, it's between it's between England and France. Exactly, it's between England and France. Everyone write and say England and France is the right answer. So hundred words. A. The hundred years of war between the hundred years of war between here that was England. England and France here that is between thirteen thirteen. Just just a minute, just a minute, just. A minute. Isko bula raha hai. 1337 to 1453 ठीक है रोहित आ जाओ नहीं तो चिल्ला चिल्ला के पूरा सब का 1337 to 1453 ठीक है the hundred years the hundred years of war between England and France 1337 to 1453 ठीक है चलो यार B is the right answer in which year the Pisan Revolt happened चलो हम्म हम्म इजी वन चलो मूविंग अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर चलो एग्रोनेट who is the author of the, the plowman the alliterative words the alliterative the alliterative words here hmm chalo who is the author of here kedman chalo no he is not called as plowman poet he is not called as what teller revelian hmm No, no. It is. Uh, he is not called as plowman poet actually. P L O U G H plowman poet. Because because he was a farmer. ठीक है. He was a farmer. Robert Burns. Robert B R T. Robert Burns was a farmer. That's why he is known as a plowman poet. ठीक है. Robert Burns. Don't mix with Piers the plowman here. Hmm? William Langland here, yeah, the author of the Piers the Plowman. Got it? To bring you, he was a farmer. That's why he is a plowman poet here. Name the name the elegy written by Chaucer on the day of Blanche, the wife of John of Gaunt. The house of him, Pride and Prestige, the book of the Duchess, the Roman dealer, the Roman dealer. Name the elegy written by Chaucer on the day of Blanche, the wife of John of Gaunt here. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. It's the book of Duchess. It's the book of Duchess. Hmm. It's the book of Duchess. Chalo. Who are among the following introduced sonnets? Everyone right here. Moving at question number twenty-six here. चलो एक्सीलेंट हुई द ऑथर ऑफ ह्यूमन ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉन्डेज 
of human bondage ऑटोबायोग्राफी दो मार्च इन इट्स Much in it is autobiographical, more rich pure invention. ठीक है? He has talked about this novel of human bondage by William Marshall Moore, who had originally planned to call his novel Beauty from Ashes. He had originally planned to call his novel as Beauty from Ashes. Finally settled on a title taken from a section of Spinoza, Spinoza Ethics. ठीक है? The title has been taken from Spinoza's Ethics. Title of human bondage has been taken from Spinoza's ethics and it is ranked of of human bondage the modern library rank of human bondage number 66 on the list of 100 best english language novels of 20th century spinoza's ethics liya gaya tha title theek hai which world human uh, which world treatment morning in the poem o captain my captain washington irving ral waldo emerson spinoza exactly shelley and lincoln yeah कैप्टन माई कैप्टन इन वॉशिंगटन अर्थिंग एंड ओ कैप्टन माई कैप्टन दिस इज एस्टन एलिजियर फोन एक्सैक्टली एब्राहम लिंकन एब्राहम लिंकन इज दॉट इट सो इट इज एब्राहम लिंकन इज द राइट एंसर Who captain my captain by Walt Whitman and Walt Whitman is the father of remember Walt Whitman is the father of father of free birds father of free birds in America exactly everyone so father of free birds in America father of free birds in America is actually Walt Whitman father of free birds Walt Whitman and remember that and try to remember that that who captain of my captain is dealing with dealing with uh, that is the fearful tree is done. the fearful tree is done that is the fearful tree there is a line called fear there is a phrase called fearful tree okay fearful tree that is this fearful tree is metaphorically uh, metaphorically representing uh, americans american civil war representing american civil war theek hai this fearful tree that is american civil war is done is has finished american civil war that is from 1861 to 1865 so write it down that american civil war from 1861 to 1865 The fearful tree is over. The fearful, the dreadful, the the dreadful uh, war is over. The American Civil War is over. But the captain is actually dead. Abraham Lincoln is dead, lying on the deck. The captain is actually dead, lying on the lying on the deck, which lying on the deck, D E C K deck. That in the sea. Okay, so lying uh, on the vessel, on the vessel. Okay, that is. And what is American Civil War? American Civil War took uh, took place between actually. Let me write it down here. Okay, so American Civil War here. American Civil War. His case was what? American Civil War. American Civil War. That is 1861 to 1861 to 1865. Okay, that is what took place between. And now uh, it is the uh, it, is, it is between the North, the Union, and the South. North versus the North versus the Union and the South. North versus the North versus South. ठीक है एंड द नॉर्थ नॉर्थ में कौन था यूनियन था यूनियन एंड साउथ में था फेडरेसी कॉन्फेडरेसी इज नॉट हां ये कॉन्फेडरेसी ठीक है कॉन्फेडरेसी ठीक है तो इसके बीच में क्या होता है अमेरिकन सिविल वॉर होता है इट इज टू इट इज टू बिकॉज़ नॉर्थ वर्ड या नॉर्थ वर्ड्स द साउथ अमेरिका नॉर्थ अमेरिकन साउथ अमेरिका यूनियन एंड कॉन्फेडरेसी द मेन द मेन एम वाज टू एबोलिश व्हाई दैट टू एबोलिश Why that to expand or abolish slavery? The main aim was, the main aim was, why that to, 
whether to abolish uh, first to first to expand expand slavery slavery or to or to abolish completely or to abolish completely slavery this was the main reason the cause of american civil war the cause of american civil war was to expand the safe slavery or to abolish slavery completely because between the north america and south america took place between 1861 to 1865 the union and the confederacy and here abraham lincoln is dead okay he is lying on the day and this is an elegiac apostrophe this is an elegiac apostrophe in address to address to world whitman is referring addressing world whitman this is an apostrophe who is actually not present in front of him but representing who captain captain who cap but he is saying referring addressing who captain a captain this is actually an uh, apostrophe hmm. okay so next question here 29 is on your screen 29 is on your screen now sir thomas moore's utopia was originally written in which language english french latin greek in which language in which language sir thomas moore's utopia was originally written in Hmm, exactly. In which year? In which year? 1516. Man. In which year? It was originally written in Latin. It was originally written in Latin in 1516. What? In 1516. And then in English, it was translated into 1551 by Ralph Robinson. Exactly. This by Ralph Robinson. Ralph Robinson has translated into English in 1551. Okay. In 1550, under the Ram Revolution, yeah, it is in Latin published in 1516, whereas it is translated into English by Ram Revolution in 1551. Next question. If, uh, here is you see that the book has also two parts. Remember, book one is dialogue of council. That exactly book two is discourse on utopia. It is first written in Latin. So utopia is a work of fiction and socio-political satire by Thomas More. written in latin and published in 1516 theek hai the book is book has two parts one is that is dialogue of council another is discourse on utopia theek hai it has two parts as well and you see that remember that and thomas more's utopia was inspired by plato's by plato's republic theek hai plato's by, by plato's plato had influenced thomas more's utopia to write utopia plato had influenced thomas more to write the utopia who was Tennyson's friends on the on whose death in memoriam was composed here. Sally Kitts, Arthur Henry Hallam, or Browning. Plato had influenced Plato had influenced Thomas More to write a utopia published in 1516. Who was Tennyson's friend on the on whose death in memoriam was composed here? these are all free contents and every day you will be getting like this hmm. exactly it is published in 1815 in memory was published in 1815 in memory was published in 1815 everyone right arthur henry hallam arthur henry hallam is the right hmm yeah exactly and this was written in yambic iambic tetrameter this was written in yambic tetrameter ठीक है, so any memory was published in 1850. Write it down that it was written yambic, yambic. It was written yambic tetrameter, tetrameter. ठीक है, tetrameter में लिखा गया था. That's actually A B A B B A. ठीक है, A B B A. Tetrameter, yambic tetrameter. It was written in 1850. It was written in yambic tetrameter. The meter was A B B A. ठीक है, and it was on the day of friends arthur henry hallam who died uh, because of cerebral hemorrhage because of cerebral hemorrhage theek hai uh, at the age of 22 only at the age of 22 arthur henry hallam died at the age of 22 because of here cerebral hemorrhage theek hai that is in memory of published in 1850 written in yambic tetrameter abba okay it has total 133 cantos it has total 133 cantos remember that in memory has total 133 133 cantos theek hai it's an elegiac narrative it's an elegiac narrative theek hai 
133 cantos 133 cantos and along with that you should remember that along with uh, apart from 133 cantos here each canto has also divided into prologue uh, the poem and epilogue theek hai each canto has three parts as well theek hai each canto has also three parts each canto it has total 133 cantos and each canto has each canto each canto has actually three parts theek hai like uh, first part is uh, that is prologue you know everyone prologue is the everyone first part then you have the poem the poem and the third part is actually third part is epilogue theek hai each canto is also divided into prologue the poem and epilogue total it has 133 cant uh, 133 cantos theek hai it's an elegiac narrative work got it at the age of 22 arthur henry alam died of died of died of cerebral hemorrhage okay clear clear is it clear all the doors is it clear all the doors चलो फेर इज क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन ऑन स्क्रीन फेर इज क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन ऑन स्क्रीन चलो एंड हेर इज क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन ऑन स्क्रीन डू आंसर एज वेल Alder, I have done as well. Alder, I have done as well. Exactly, exactly, exactly. An enemy of the people, Gana Satru. Exactly, an enemy of the people here. This is an enemy of the people. The play, which play of Ibsen, was made into a film by Satyajit Roy. It is an enemy of the people. Here, enemy of the people, Thornton. Can you see who is Thomas Stockman? Thomas Stockman is the protagonist. An enemy of the people speaking the language of common interpretation. So the mouth of his spokesman, so the mouth of his spokesman, that is the idealist Doctor Thomas Stockman, and it concerns the action of Doctor Thomas Stockman, a medical officer charged with inspecting the public bath on which the prosperity of the native depends, and he finds the water to be contaminated. When he refuses to be silenced, he is declared an enemy of the. people you are a very brave person who tries to do the right thing and amid the extreme social intolerance that is an enemy of the people where the main protagonist is thomas stockman and it is by henry ibsen's the play which play ibsen was made into film it is satyajit ray made into film it is a play of ibsen that is an enemy of the people and the name of the movie was gana satru the name of the movie was gana satru g a n a s h a t r u gana satru was the name of the film Chalo. In which poem do the following lines occur here? Behold, her bosom and half her side, a sight to dream of, not to tell. Kids, Eve of Saint Agnes, Kids, Lamia, Coleridge, Christabel, Watson, Lucy Gray. In which poem do we do the following lines occur? Behold her bosom and half her side, a sight to dream of, not to tell. In this channel, I will be covering English Senate Paper One, as well as English Senate Paper Two, or Roman subject that is English literature. Do not to, you don't need to go anywhere. I will be covering is and everything here in this channel. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly, Sujorita. Excellent. It is Coleridge Christabel. It is Coleridge Christabel, who is an incomplete work. Who is an incomplete work. Who is an incomplete work. Okay, unfinished work. Coleridge Christabel is the right answer. No, it's Coleridge Christabel. A behold her bosom and half her side. A side to dream of, not to tell. This is from Coleridge Christabel. Coleridge Christabel, one of the finest. That is ballad. Okay. Apart from, uh, apart from, uh, apart from, that is the. Uh, right on the ends and minor. Christabel is a long narrative ballad by Samuel Taylor Coleridge in two parts. Okay, it has two parts. The first part was written in 1797 and the second was 
but old rich plant three additional parts but these were never completed this is an, this is an unfinished incomplete work crystal and crystal designs are there like the old arbuzo man how what side a side to bring or not to tell this is old rich crystal lines okay next question matthew fred the story of the country mouse the parody of bridal switch work the hen and the panther all was evolved for love the way of the world here matthew fred has written the story of the mouse the story of the the story of the country mouse is a parody as per the request of some aspirants i am making here for the upcoming calcutta university entrance test exam i will be covering every day so stay tuned and do subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notifications share with your friends and do join the telegram channel that is santu sahu edc net definitely you will be very grateful with this channel and watch this video till the end it's going to be very fruitful session as well exactly everyone right here exactly fantastic hmm so the hind and the panther here hind and the panther is the right of birth the hind and the panther is the right word here and it is having the subtitle having the subtitle a poem a poem in a poem in what a poem in three acts probably theek hai the hind and the panther here a poem in three parts a poem in three a poem in three parts a poem in three parts this is the uh, this is the full title the hind and the panther a poem in three parts published published in 1687 published in 1687 this is a parody this is just an allegory this is an allegorical work the hind and the panther is just an allegorical work allegorical work theek hai and it was written in heroic couplet it was written in heroic couplet as well so hind and the panther was written in heroic couplet a poem in three parts this is the subtitle it's allegorical work here we covered published in 1687 1687 among uh, one of the finest uh, restoration work writer Rest restoration work actually theek hai next question here would you like to question number 30 what have you done what have you done okay you have all done orangaje it's the hind and the panther actually chalo arnold marks arnold marks the untimely date of death in thyroid this an elegy that is arthur hugh clough theek hai arthur halam mr w is none of this what is about the score of india anyone virat kohli out hone ke baad maine khel de na khel de ke chhod diya what is the score of india versus pakistan सुब्रांशु सामदी सुजीत एक्सैक्टली थायरस इज एन एलईजी आर्नल्ड मार्च अनटाइमली डेथ ऑफ इज फ्रेंड इट इज आर्थर यू क्लब इज द राइट आंसर एक्सैक्टली ए इज द राइट आंसर थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर एक्सैक्टली ए इज द राइट आंसर एवरी वन राइट एंड फैंटास्टिक टू हूम दिस Who whom did T.S. Eliot dedicate his Westland publication in 1922? Okay. John Ruskin, Bernard Shaw, Ezra Pound, Rudyard Kipling. Two sixty-six. Okay. Okay. Is Indian innings over? Is Indian innings over? Huh? India won. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, hey, who's going? Rudyard Kipling. Who's writing? Rudyard Kipling. Who's writing? Where are you from? Where are you from? Subramanian. Hmm. then then super over then super over okay seasonals is actually a ben johnson is a dash by ben johnson comedy mask historical tragedy poetical poetic play
optional mixed okay, abdc okay got it got it got it got it got it got it yeah i can understand it was my mistake actually abdc so ezra pond was there got it everyone i can understand i can understand this is my mistake actually got it sorov and to brahms as well Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. I can understand. I can understand. So, Brahmsu, that's that's okay. That's okay. Sijanas is actually yeah. I can understand. So, Sijanas is a dash by Ben Jonathan. It's a historical tragedy. Okay, it's a historical tragedy actually. Got it. Got it. So, Brahmsu don't need to explain it more. I can understand. Yeah, sort of as well. So, Sijanas is actually a Ben Jonathan historical tragedy. Are you there, Sujit? So, Sijanas is actually Ben Jonathan historical tragedy. Okay. 36 years he is the no sijanas is actually historical tragedy but ben ben johnson has also written a historical tragedy called sijanas okay next question which of the following is not a characteristic of elizabethan literature use of blank words influence of classical literature use of allegory focus on rural life which of the following is not A characteristics of Elizabethan literature: use of blank verse, influence of classical literature, use of allegory, and focus on rural life here. Exactly. It is the characteristics of Elizabethan literature that they did not focus on rural life. So, yeah, D is the right answer. D is the Hmm. This is the right answer. Elizabethan literature was not focused on rural life. Instead, it was often concerned with courtly life, themes of love, honor, and power. Okay. Next question. Who wrote the play, Doctor Faustus, which tells the story of a scholar who sells his soul to the devil? Who was who was the devil? Shakespeare, Marlowe, Ben Jonson, Thomas Kidd. Exactly. Everyone right. D was the right answer. Hmm. Christopher Marlowe, who is the who is the devil here? Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. The agent was Mephistopheles. Thirty-nine now. Give the following. Wax is an example of revenge tragedy in Elizabethan literature. The fairy queen, Tamburlaine the Great, ball pony, the ball pony, the Spanish tragedy. Which of the following is an example of revenge tragedy in Elizabethan literature? But, okay, hmm. the Spanish tragedy. The Spanish tragedy. Exactly, Thomas Kidd. Thomas Kidd has written. Thomas Kidd has written the Spanish tragedy. Hmm. And sir, now tell me what is the exactly everyone write here? What is the subtitle? What is the subtitle of this was the Spanish tragedy? What is the subtitle of the Spanish tragedy by Thomas Kidd? इसका सब टाइटल क्या है डू लाइक द सेशन एज वेल सेशन को लाइक कर दो ठीक है नो गोल्डी मीन्स द साइड बॉक्स हायर एनिमो इज मैड अगेन क्या है हायर एनिमो हायर एनिमो हायर हो एच आई आर ओ 
Paranimo, no, Ferris and Porus, Gorbodak, Ferris and Porus, Gorbodak, Ferris and Porus, Gorbodak, Hieronimo, each mad again, Hieronimo is mad again. This is the subtitle of the Spanish tragedy. Hieronimo is mad again. Ferris and Porus, that is by Gorbodak, Tiger. Balfoni means the sly fox in Italian. Balfoni means the sly fox, the clever fox in Italian by Ben Johnson. Okay. Next question here. 40. Which playwright was known for his satirical comedies and coined the term comedy of humors? William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, Ben Johnson, Thomas Kidd. Hieronymo is mad again. Exactly. Yeah, hold up. It's okay. Probably India was on the bars of losing, defeating. Hmm. Comedy of humors by Bain Johnson's here. Bain Johnson's Comedy of Humors. Hmm. Exactly. Next question here 41. Which one of the following plays by Shakespeare is a romantic comedy involving mistaken identities? Love triangles. Exactly, everyone, right? 41 is on your screen here. Love triangle. Which of the following plays by Shakespeare is a romantic comedy involving mistaken identities and love triangles? Those who are new to join the Telegram channel, that is Santu Sahu, UGC, definitely you will be getting benefited by joining the Telegram channel. You will be updated regarding the classes. I every day post. Provide some notes as well as provide some PDF as well sometimes. Sujit, will you please share to Bipra? How are you, Bipra? After a long time. After a long time, I am seeing you here. But I can remember the name actually. He used to used to come earlier. So here it is. Someone is who are saying here. It's twelve night actually. It's twelve night actually. Hmm. And who are? Kon kon tha? Lap triangle kiska bich mein tha? Lap triangle bich mein kiska tha? Lap triangle is between whom? Lap triangle is between whom? That is Viola, Orsino, and Olivia. Viola, Orsino, and Olivia. The lap triangles between Viola, Orsino, and Olivia. Okay? That is the 12th night. Next question. Hmm. Got it. Who is the author of the epic and the fairy queen? The fairy queen's author exactly all of you write here. Vipra, have you joined the telegram channel? Do join the telegram channel, then I will be sharing the link. Okay. Do join the telegram channel. I am telling I am telling to Sujit. Please do share that link of that university where you can apply. Vipra is saying that he is not able to find that telegram, find the link. Exactly, Edmund Spencer here. Edmund Spencer here, epic uh, fairy queen. That the fairy queen was first published in 1590. 1590, uh, it had actually three books, published with three books, three volumes. Okay. And in 1596 actually, okay, 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 exactly. So 1596 here, it, uh, along with uh, three books were added, total six books. Okay. 1590 here, exactly. Yeah. And before, before do join the telegram channel, okay? So, 1519, it is here, and 1596, that is uh, six books were added, okay? Next question. Which play by Shakespeare features the tragic story of a powerful king who divides his kingdom among his daughters? Edward II, the Jew of Malta, Dr. Foster's King Lear.
exactly it's clinglier it's clinglier who are the daughters will you please tell me the name the name of the daughters here clinglier have you all got the pdf that i have taped shakespeare for students i have sent a pdf yesterday in the at night actually in the midnight actually i had sent uh, a pdf that is shakespeare for students skin clear who are the daughter who are the daughter shop three daughter shop that is first one who was the eldest one that was goneril goneril was the eldest one then the regan then cordelia goneril regan and cordelia they are the daughters and who have who has given a happy ending exactly 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 got it who has given a happy ending a happy ending a happy ending of hmm the happy ending of king lear who has given a happy ending of king lear write it down in the comment box write it down in the comment box happy ending of king lear was given by whom who is known for its play that that explore the themes of power corruption deception that is volpone the alchemist easy one do quickly We'll be quickly. We'll be quickly covering ten questions. The easy questions do first. Was not in Nahum Tate. Yeah, it is Nahum. It is Nahum Tate has given the happy ending of King Lear. So he is known for his plays. Exactly, it's Christopher Marlowe. Who told I Christopher Marlowe? Volpone, no, no, no. It's Ben Johnson. Okay, Volpone, the Sly Fox Italian, the alchemist. Sir Ben Johnson has written. Okay, Ben Ben Johnson, Pradeep. It is Ben Johnson. Okay, Ben Johnson has written Volpone. ठीक है. Ben Johnson and the alchemist. These are all works by Ben Johnson. Next question here. Forty-five. Who is known for his metaphysical poetry called A Flea, a valediction forbidding morning. John Donne, Thomas Wade, Edmund Spencer, John Lilly. The authors, the author, or the poet of the works like the Three and the Valediction of Valediction of Forbidden Morning. This is a Sujit Sujit will send. Okay, don't worry. Sujit will send the link. Okay, where you can apply. I have told Sujit. to send that link sujit will send in the telegram channel and he will be redirected okay so this is by john dan john dan the important poem the valediction forbidding morning and the flea by john dan which play by christopher marlowe features tragic protagonist who sells he sold to the devil That is actually repeated question, Doctor Foster. Hello. The finest Renaissance work. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. Which play by Ben Johnson is chatter on Greek? and social climbing on elizabethan society which play by ben johnson is a satire and greed and social climbing in elizabethan society volpone the alchemist every man in his humor season as his fall which play by ben johnson is a satire on greed and social climbing in elizabethan society hmm exactly subramshu exactly subramshu Hmm. Hmm. It is Volpone. The play it is Volpone. It is means in Italian the Sly Fox. The Sly Fox. ठीक है. Volpone. There is a character of Volto. Volto is also a character in Volpone who represents Valcher. ठीक है. Valcher. Corvaccio. Volpone represents the sly fox. There is Volto is a character who represents vulture. ठीक है? It is actually a Volpone is the right answer. 
whose spirit is known for its split darkness of malfi a dark and tragic tale of love and revenge thomas middleton john wester thomas kit francis beaumont darkness of malfi karvino karvasio mosca mosca representing mosca representing parasite mosca representing parasite theek hai mosca representing parasite Walter Walsh Exactly it is John Ovester the Rathis of Malfi who has written the white devil the white devil who has written the white devil white devil kisne likha hai the rathis of malfi a dark tragic tale of love and this is john ovester now you tell me the white devil was written by white devil white devil is a work by and who is the title or character white white devil here who is the title or white devil here the white devil exactly it is it is white devil written by john wester now who is the title or character peter who is the title or character white devil the white same player got it now victoria okay Vitoria is the Vitoria V I W T O R I A. Vitoria is the the title of White Devil. Vitoria is the title of White Devil. Who is the author of the play The Revenge Tragedy, which is known for its dark humor and exploration of revenge. Revenge Tragedy. So White, so the White Devil who was Vitoria. Here Vitoria is the White Devil by John Webster. Now here is question number ninety six on your screen. who is the author of the play the revenge tragedy which is known for its dark humor and exploration of revenge thomas middleton thomas kid john ford john marston and if you need experience i am also looking for to make videos for the upcoming edisnet exam on paper 1 as well stay tuned with south tutorial i will be covering edisnet paper 1 stay tuned support my channel share your friends subscribe like and definitely i'll be providing i'll be i'll be providing okay i'll be providing everything every contents are here fair for uh, are free of cost actually don't need to pay anything here hmm it is the revenge strategy kisne likha hai revenge strategy is it Hmm. Everyone is saying Thomas Kidd. I am talking about revenge tragedy. Talking about revenge tragedy. It's not Thomas Kidd. It's not Thomas Kidd. It is. Thomas Middleton Revenge Tragedy by Thomas Middleton so here Thomas Middleton is the right answer Thomas Middleton is the right answer he has written the revenge tragedy it is not even John Marston Thomas Middleton revenge tragedy theek hai chalo next question here who wrote the novel 1984 which portrays an dystopian society controlled by totalitarian regime Who wrote the novel 1984, which portrays a dystopian society controlled by totalitarian regime? <clears throat> exactly, sir. Okay. It's actually George Orwell published in sort of as already written, published in 1949. Published, yeah, Big Brother, Big Brother, exactly. Hmm, Big Brother. The character Big Brother appears in 1940 dystopian novel. 1949 is the right answer. In 
published in 1949. Dystopian, The Night of the Scorpion by Nizi Medrikil is representing the superstitious attitude of Indian women, Indian boys, Indian pigeons, Indian parents. This is the night. It is raining. In the rainy night, the incident took place here. Both the answer will be right actually. Indian pigeons. Uh, specifically, there is a mention of pigeons. That's why I will be going with Indian pigeons. Okay. Indian pigeons. Okay. No, no. Indian pigeons. There is the reference of Indian pigeons. That's why. The Knight of the Scorpion is equal representing the superstitious attitude of the Indian pigeons. So, yes, he is the right answer. Yeah, exactly. Mother watch. Hmm. Night of the Scorpio. Presents a rural Indian village and its people. It came from a religious background and Ezekiel wrote this poem trying to give the impression of anger but also an underlying message, motherly love of, along with a hint of culture. Why, why, why? Why Saurabh? With a hint of culture and superstition. After 20 hours, it lost its sting. My mother only said, this is the line here, you see. After 20 hours, it lost its sting. My mother only said, thank God the scorpion peeked on me and speared my children. Lots of your questions are right. Yeah. Congratulations. After 20 years, hours, it lost its sting. My mother only said, thank God the scorpion peeked on me and speared my Spared my children. My children to short there, but my ko kata. Thik hai. These cannots have done. Originally written in. Don't jag a book by all its cover. Giddy's Kannad's Bhavadana, originally written in Kannada, has been translated into English by whom? Appearance always deceives. Appearance always Deceives. Okay. So here. So Greece cannots have a dana. Originally. Yeah. The author himself. Hmm. Author himself has translated. And. Have a dana. Has been. Influenced by. Thomas Mann's. Thomas Mann's. Transposed head. Transposed head. Okay. And Sthal Purana. Sthal Purana, Katha Sarit and Transposed Head. Okay. Next question. Who translated the readers of dramatology in English? Omi ke baba ga accept this pek bolo. Bohat easy question chai. Only one question left. Originally it was written in originally written in, in which language? This book of dramatology. Originally it was written in, in which language? This book of dramatology was originally written in which language? 
Exactly. It was originally excellent. It was originally written French. Everyone right? Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. French. And here is the last question. It is also easy one. What is Milton's area of parity? Sonnet an epic plea for the freedom of race and play. I'll be ending here. Tomorrow I'll be seeing again. चलो अपनी पौधा फ्रीडम ऑफ प्रेस ठीक है फटाफट एंडिंग करेंगे इधर थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू एवरीवन वी हैव टू ईट आई हैव डिनर आई हैव टू फिनिश आई हैव टू फिनिश इट हियर बिकॉज़ आई हैव नॉट डन आई हैव नॉट इटन एनीथिंग ओके फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ओके आफ्टर डूइंग दैट फर्स्ट पेपर और वी रिसेंट पेपर वन आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड पीपीटी 54 क्वेश्चंस ओके वेरी फास्ट एंड देन ऑल दिस थिंग्स Yeah, going on well, going on well. Pet class going on well. Pet class going on well. Is this net pet class going on well? And I was literally, I literally cry, um, cried away okay, just when they actually got out. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Do like the session. Do like the session. Okay, and share your friends as well. Do like the session. Share your friends as well. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video for supporting me. Stay tuned. This house tutorial definitely will be helping you all to crack any exam like English, Senate, Set, Pair, and all these things and all the PG exams. Okay. Thank you.